Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I want to talk to you about Sniper, as you can see right here. So what is Sniper? Uh, Sniper is an attack surface utility. It's like a Swiss Army tool for information security, information gathering, pen testing, vulnerability assessments, and all of those things together, all combined into one simple to use utility. So you can check the um, the project in the official GitHub page. So let me bring it over here for you so you can see it. Here it is. Uh, you can go to GitHub and get the original, uh, the source code for that. They do have a community version and they do have a professional version, a licensed version, I should say. And as you can imagine, the community version is going to be limited by the capability that it has. But still, you're going to be able to benefit from it. If you use it, you're going to be able to collect a lot of information using one utility instead of using multiple utilities to collect the same information. If you go to the H GitHub repository, you'll see that they uh, show you screenshots of their professional version, which supports a GUI. The community version does not support a GUI, but it gener generates the reports in TXT files in different type of file formats that you can use to um, analyze the data that is collected. Uh, the installation, it would be nice if we could use community based on the um, GUI, but that's not the case. Also, the commercial versions have add-ons that are not available in the community version. As you can imagine, also, they do offer some level of support that is not available with community edition. So if you scroll down, you'll see that the installation is super simple. If you want to do it on Kali, Ubuntu, Debian, or Parrot Security, this is the command to download Sniper. You go into the folder and then you run the script. Now, the install that SH script is going to take some time to install because it is going to install different tools. So make sure that you have enough space for this uh, new installation on your computer. So once you install it, you can run it on any target and that's going to collect information for you based on everything that is doing. So I ran the um, utility on one of my domains and it took a very long time because what I did, I just took the default normal scan, which is basically throwing everything that Sniper has at this, um, at my domain. And what it did, let me uh, come here. So once you install it, again, this is gonna, the script is gonna do everything automatically for you. But to get help, you only do a Sniper's uh, dash dash help, and that's gonna show you the different options that you have to run the command. And if you run it on normal mode, it's, sim it's as simple as just typing the command minus T, which is for your target. And then you enter the domain name. And if you can see, you're going to have more options, especially if you want to do open source intelligence recon, you can use these uh, options right here. You have the option to run it as in, a, in a stealth mode. And you also have the option of specifying which ports you want to run this on. So right now, I am running this on, <clears throat> on a target domain. I'm running this on CNN. And as you could see, it's throwing everything at it to collect information, to, to do reconnaissance, to collect all that information. And what information is this collecting, you may ask? Well, let me show you here. So once the information is collected, 
it's going to create a workspace for that specific project that you're working with. So um, again, as I mentioned to you, this is Community Edition. No, pretty good for this. So if we're going to be using this, um, you know, just know your way around the command line. So once you do that, you're going to see that it's going to have different folders for the information that it collects. If it collects any credentials, domain IP addresses, it's going to have a section for NMAP reports for open source intelligence, output reports, scans. So it's going to create all that information, even vulnerabilities on web. It's going to create it and subdivide it into folders for you, which is super useful. So if you navigate your way around this, uh, <clears throat> you'll see that, oh, let me go back to it. So I'm in Workspaces. This is the one that I uh, successfully created, and this is the one that I'm working on right now. And as you can see, it's already doing its thing, uh, you know, uh, adding information to it. So let me come back to this one that is mine. So if you have a... Um, a list of targets that you want to create. You, you can use the list and that they're gonna be added to a specific workspace. And if you are looking for, let's say, the IP addresses of all those targets, you will find that information here. This is a single um, domain. So in my case, it only has one IP address, but it's gonna provide information. If you go into the different folders, you're gonna see more information, information that was collected. Um, as you can see, these are the Nmap uh, scans that it ran, and these are the results. Or you could open the uh, the master <clears throat> report for this. You have ports, you have live host, blah blah blah, DNS. But if you go to, um, you could see this as an XML. So if we do this, right, and you can X export and import this into another tool but let me go over i had this open oh emma report right here for my host as an html so as you could see it's super nice and clean actually <clears throat> and if you go through this it is going to show you everything that it checked using nmap and it's going to display that information down here so no secrets. And if you go to the other reports as well, this is a sniper for uh, for the website on 8443. And it's going to tell you what it found on that specific target, on that specific port. As you could see, it's going to be looking for open SSL. It's going to be checking. If you keep scrolling down, it's, you're, you're going to see that it's going to be checking. You know, this is based on Mmap2. It's going to be checking if, if you're running behind the web application firewall, if you're running behind anything. So it is a lot of useful information. And, you know, I could spend, like, perhaps hours and hours just talking about what information this is doing. This is perfect if you want to do reconnaissance for the systems and get to know what's out there. And as you could see, it's going to display all that information and it's going to uh, categorize this information into its individual folders. In my case, I didn't run any um, open source intelligence, but if you did, that information would be here. If you come to reports, let me come to reports, snipers, let's try this. This is a web port HTTP ID because these ports were detected and opened uh, or are open right now. So it's going to show you that information based on the ports that it detected as opens. As you could see, I have 80, 80, 80, 443, and 84, 43. And the information pretty much is going to be the same except for whatever information is collected for that specific port and service. Other than that, it's going to be uh, the same. Uh, and it's a lot of information. So let me uh, come back here. And in there, you're also going to see vulnerabilities. So let me let me come back. So you're going to have to scroll down and pay attention or perhaps look, uh, search for the specific things, right? So as you can see here, it's running Active Web Spider. So it's gonna be going through every single page on that website and blogs and everything. 
and it's going to show you if it detects any um, <clears throat> uh, usernames, obviously not the passwords because it's not doing that, but that's going to be based if somebody is writing a blog or if it's going to try to detect different users for the website uh, that it detects on the different section of the pages. So you could find that information there as well. So let me come back here. And um, it also going to take screenshots. If it does, they will be here and it's going to show you the uh, vulnerabilities that it found. As you could see, they are categorized as critical, high, info, low, medium, you're going to see all that and you're going to see like whatever it found just looking at the uh, rob robot.txt files. This is a lot of information, perhaps more information that, you know, you want to collect at once. That's why um, these scans are going to take a very long time. And especially if the uh, your target is a large organization, it's going to try to find domains, subdomains, IP addresses, all those different tools and tasks that I have created video for in the past. It's just putting them all together and doing that for you. Now, the way I see this, right, I use this. It's like one of those things that are run and I'll come back maybe the next day or the day after to collect the information. And I don't care how much noise it makes because I'm just doing reconnaissance and collecting information. If you want to run something, if you want to run uh, something more specific on a target, then you may want to like break down the scans into individual commands and do it that way. Or you could try running uh, Sniper in a stealth mode to see, you know, what happens. I mean, you're still going to make a lot of noise, but it's not going to be an active scan, right? So um, let me come back uh, here. Okay, so this still running, uh, the, uh, the, the, the scan on CNM, and it's going to take a very long time. Look, 69 out of... 9,000 and change. So the, my previous scan took like hours, a very long time. I don't know how long because I just let it run and I came back. Anyway, so this is the video. I just wanted to introduce you to this tool. It's an amazing tool that you can use to collect a lot of information on one specific target or on a list of targets and you just run it and forget about it until you collect the information. Once it finishes, it's going to organize the information in folders for you to look into it. It's going to organize it in a comprehensive way that is easy to read and distribute. And you can use that information to look into or to move into the next steps, right? Like if you find uh, vulnerabilities, uh, they are going to be listed here, right? Like, for instance, like you found like, hi, you know, like I'm using HTTP. It's not that I'm using that, it's just enabled for the redirect. So as you could see here, it is showing another vulnerability that, oh, you know what? I'm disclosing usernames, but yeah, that's just people writing blog articles, right? Like we have multi-factor authentication kind of thing. So uh, you can make sense of the information that you're looking for. Now, I ran this on my test target, but I'm sure that if you have, for, if you're doing an engagement, and pen, a pen testing, or if you're running this on your organizations to understand the surface uh, of possible attack vectors, this is a perfect utility for you to use. Now, this is time consuming again. Um, I'm just going to tell you, download it run it, play with it, you're going to be amazed of how much information this is going to collect for you with one shot. That's what I like about this thing. It's just one shot instead of running the harvested, instead of running WebWeb, who is Nitco, MBT Scan, MMAP, like all the different tools, you run one of them and then you have to sort through the information. Anyway, go ahead, please download it, give it a try, run it. If you do and you have a questions or leave a comment, I would love to hear from you. 
Again, if you found this information useful, just click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you on the next video.